Hello gold friends, Jason here, taking a look at our lovely gold chart. I'm showing the weekly time frame because I want to show that despite this big strong day we had today, coming up right against our EMA 12 resistance on the weekly time frame, we are still in a bear flag and we're still in the range that's acceptable for this bear flag to play out. I would not want to see this go another week before either negating or executing, but right now we are still in this bear flag. And the uh, action we're seeing today is really reflective of what we saw on the daily time frame. A pretty huge day for bulls. We have changed our trend. We are now in a daily uptrend with our low, our high, higher low, higher high. And now what we can expect to see is not continual straight bullish power, but rather a swing to the downside based on the fact that we're going to be extended because today's action was pretty quick comparatively to the other upswing. And by the for the fact that we need to establish a higher low on the daily time frame, something over 1449. Let's adjust that a little bit. Over 1450. Again, that 1450 number keeps cropping up. Keeping a close eye on that level. So here we are on the daily time frame. And we are looking good for the bulls. As long as bulls stay above 1450, they're going to be in this daily uptrend. We're going to be looking for that higher high and that reversal in the near future. On the four hour time frame, we can see that we need to consolidate. We're starting to do that ever so slightly now. Our RSI is at 6848. They have a potential for setting up a bull flag on this time frame. And we will look for support at EMA5. Nice four hour uptrend. And again, we really need to establish that higher low on the four hour time frame. Haven't done it since 1460. We can do that in a bull flag up here, but we need a few hours, or I should say 12 hours, so three periods uh, of nice consolidated cooling off, or this hourly RSI is going to have an opportunity to cool itself. 7305, despite the last six, seven hours of sideways trading. We are now underneath our EMA5, so our EMA26 is going to be an important level for us. I'm not convinced we've given up the hourly trend, but if we lose 1476, I'll be looking for further downside continuation and more, uh, less of a bull flag on the four hour time frame and more of a little bit of a rounded top on the hourly into downside continuation, in which case on the four hour, I'll be looking for support at EMA5, wherever that may be, if and when we get there. Uh, but good work by the bulls today. A lot of potential here. But remember, weekly time frame still in a bear flag. Daily time frame needs to consolidate. We've only established a higher high on the daily. Now we need to lock that in with a higher low and really lock that trend in. Four hour time frame overextended with the possibility of a bull flag. However, we've lost that hourly trend. So you see how these time frames play together. We want to find trades where all of our time frames work in conjunction and give us the most opportunity. We'll see how this plays out tomorrow. Congratulations to the Bulls today. Let's see if we can say the same tomorrow.